what's going on y'all and welcome back to episode seven we're at episode seven already this is crazy y'all we're we're on a roll but welcome back to episode seven of the dramatic life with dramatic key the podcast and in today's topic we're going to be talking about the importance of letting go of negative and toxic people in your life like y'all this is a journey that i have been on um real real deep especially in the past couple of months like it's just so crazy to me how i know that i can't be the only one like who have people you got certain people in your life who they always just call you when it's negative shit going on in their life or they always call you when they want to talk about drama or you know the crazy stuff that's going on in their life but they never want to call you and tell and feed you something positive you know what i'm saying like there was a couple people that i noticed that was like that in my life you know i feel like it's different when you know you're a friend y'all going through the same situation and y'all calling and talking to each other about it you know what i'm saying so y'all can keep each other uplift and and just get it off your chest mutually and you know you're bringing each other out of a negative space to get into a better space but when you have people just calling you and it's like every time they call you they always want to talk about some irrelevant shit like if you're not calling me to make no money if you're not calling me to better my business if you're not calling me with no advice on how to upgrade my life like why are we sitting here having a really i can't even call it a conversation why am i sitting on the phone with you while you talk about all of this bs that's going on and it's like it's the same thing over and over and over let me tell y'all like i'm really learning with a lot of people that you know it's just better to keep my my distance with a lot of people like that's why i changed my numbers you know i got rid of a lot of people on my social media like it's like Mm, it's nothing personal to y'all but it's just like i don't feel like you were feeding me anything that's going to be beneficial to me in my life so it's like it's time for us to part ways like i'm ready to get to the new level that next chapter that higher elevation that i'm supposed to be at in my life and i can't get there if i'm still rocking with you and you still on the same shit that you was on from two years ago like it's nothing changed like you know that just be really sending me you know and it's like sometimes when you have people like that in your life especially when they're like close to you or y'all have known each other for a while sometimes it'd be kind of hard to detach from people like that i'm not even going to say detached but to kind of you know distance yourself from people like that because you know then people be like oh you're acting funny or this that and the third and sometimes like you i feel like you have to learn in life when you are the problem like if you are the person that's calling somebody every day and you always talking you never talking about making money you always talking about your issues you always whining crying complaining and then you always talking about a dude like you all it's always something negative is never you know what today is going to be a good day and this is what i'm doing to make the rest of my week better girl let me tell you about what i'm doing this week so i can put some extra money in my pocket or you know what i'm saying if you're one of them people you need to stop (laughs) sometimes we have to reevaluate ourselves because it's like okay like i had to start thinking to myself why are certain type of people gravitating towards me and then i was like you know what it's because i don't say anything i don't open my mouth and speak you know i just i don't be wanting to be mean to people like you know and it's like i want people to understand like or feel like i'm there but i had to learn to stop even feeding into people's drama in their life because I started realizing that I started having a lot of weight on my shoulders and I started creating a lot of problems in my life from situations that had nothing to do with me. You know, sometimes even just listening to people's like bad situations or listening to the stuff that people are going through in their life, sometimes that can affect you. It can affect you more than it actually happening to you, I feel like. Because it's like, then you get hit with it out of nowhere. Like I got hit with stuff out of nowhere and I'm like, why is this happening to me you know what i'm saying like why am i feeling like this why am i wake up in the morning feeling like this but then i realized oh i just had a conversation with with paula the other day and all she talked about was sad shit. now i'm feeling sad 
you know what I'm saying? Energy transfer is a real thing. And the more that I got into learning about keeping good energy around me, having positive people around me, the more I noticed myself starting to change a lot. And I honestly feel like, you know, even with just growing in life and getting older too, like I've learned that my demeanor has also changed significantly a lot. Like, I don't tolerate a lot of BS in my life anymore. Like, I'm learning to just kind of be like, you know what? Okay. To not even go back and forth with people. It's like, okay, you know what? This not working out. I, I said one thing to you when you wanted to say X, Y, and Z. Um, you know, okay. I'm just I'm just going to cut you off. We don't even have to worry about having another conversation anymore because this is the end. This is the end for you. You're done. You're done. You're done. Okay, I'm cutting you out of my life altogether. Like, and it's like, y'all, I just feel like over the past like two years, um, I've learned so much. Like, in between dealing with guys and, you know, having certain friends in my life who did certain things. And it's like, okay, well, I wasn't, I'm never, I've never been a judgmental type of person, but I'm also starting to realize why, you know, having certain friends who do certain things in your life, how that affects you as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, because it's like when people are not aligned with you in life and they have things going on, then they try to feed stuff into you and be like, oh, we... You know, we act like this and we act like this. They try to put y'all two in the same category. And it's like, baby, we are not the same. I'm your friend. I'm okay with whatever it is that you choose to do with your life. But don't place me in the same category as you because I'm not like that. You know what I'm saying? So, hold on, y'all. I need a sip of water. <sighs> a little ASMR for y'all. But yeah, I'm I'm learning the importance of surround yourself with like-minded people. Like y'all, um, we're approaching. I mean, we are in the end of the year of 2022, and it's like I'm ready to see bigger. I'm ready to see better. Um, I feel like with me, everything is personal now. You know how a lot of people be like, oh, it's not personal. It's just business. No, everything is personal now. Like, I only want people in my life that I feel like we are an asset to each other. I'm I'm not just feeding into you all the time because I have that issue too a lot of just kind of like feeding into people, like feeding positivity into people, feeding business stuff into people. I ain't, I haven't learned shit from a lot of the people that I don't fed stuff into. You know what I'm saying? Instead, I'm just giving and giving and giving and giving. I'm leading you to the water, water, whether you choose to drink it or not, that's on you. But it's like, I had to learn to stop that. Um, not only that, I had to learn to stop forgiving certain people and, you know, giving people a slap on the wrist and allowing them back into my life, thinking that people are going to change. People do not change unless they really want to. And if someone is acting in a certain type of way towards you, they treat you a certain type of way, or even if you have a friend, you know, friends or relationship or family shits, and it's like you you are this way with them, you're positive with them, you always checking on them, you always, you know, just trying to get them the benefit of the doubt with stuff. They're not doing, giving you that same energy. Man, it's time to cut them people loose. It's time to cut them loose. Like, I have become such a... I don't know. I just been to myself a lot. I've been observing a lot more. And it's like, I'm real particular with my time now. I've always been that way. But now it's like, oh, no, I'm really particular with my time. Like, what do you want from me? <laughs> like, what is there for us to discuss? Um, And again, like I said, this is going to go for relationships, friendships, or dealing with family. What do you want from me? Like, you know, what is it? Because it's like, I have my own issues and I'm okay with my issues because I'm learning from a lot of them. Like, I'm 
I, I love the life that I have. I feel like life can always be better. And if I want it to be better, I can make it that way, which I am in the process of doing. But I'm okay with the things that have happened to me in my life in general because they made me who I am to this day. And I honestly can say I'm proud of the person that I am and that I'm becoming. Like, I'm learning to step more into the woman that I truly want to be. And that woman doesn't take any shit from nobody. You know, that woman is independent. That woman is strong. That woman just gets up and gets shit done, whether she wants to do it or not. Y'all see that I've been really trying to be consistent with this. I know it hasn't been that long for me to for y'all to tell the consistency and stuff. But it's like, it's like trying to change over old habits and trying to get into something new is really a, a mental thing. And it takes patience with yourself. And it takes, it's more than just being consistent when you're trying to change yourself and trying to change your environment. It takes like you really like, self-motivating and and really keeping in in mind the bigger vision of everything instead of just thinking small like you gotta be thinking big bitch you gotta be thinking big <laughs> but um seriously so you know i just i want to tell y'all like to anybody that's out there you're going through dealing with like let's say you have toxic parents in your life and stuff like, or toxic friends. I don't care if y'all been friends since y'all was like two years old. It's okay to cut these people out of your life. Because they mean you no good. Um, I've had a lot of people tell me in the past, and I believe this is true. Like, when you want to get to a certain space in your life, God is not going to elevate you with certain people around you. Everybody is not meant to go with you where you are supposed to be going. And... When stuff start getting questionable, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm I'm still getting over like a cold. But when stuff start getting questionable with the people that you're surrounding yourself with, it's time to cut them loose. Sometimes you don't even have to explain yourself to people. Sometimes you could just like disappear. And I'm learning like that is the best thing for me. You know, just I've been in my own little bubble and I'm sitting back and I'm watching so much. I'm listening to so much. And I'm like, man, I can't believe I even allowed myself to be in a situation like this, to even be around an environment like this. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to feed y'all some positivity um, today, this morning, this afternoon, whenever you're listening to this, and let you know that this is a message to you. It's time to move forward. It's time to do bigger things. It's time to start shifting your mindset. It's time to get away from those negative people. It's time to get away from those problematic people. I don't care if they're your kids. If they're old enough to, to take care of themselves, it's time to get away from them too. <laughs> it's time to like, stop feeding so much into people that you're not even feeding into yourself. Like It's time to be selfish and give more into you than others um it's time to put you first like i gotta put me first i have to i have to put me first in everything that i do everything that i think about i come first i am my top priority i am the bigger picture i am the main event i come first so um but yeah um <laughs> You know, it's, it's, I can go on and on and on about this topic, but it was just some stuff I was thinking about this morning, and I really wanted to share it with y'all. And I hope that this message helps someone uh, with something. And I'm going to make sure I put up my positive quote on my video today for y'all, too. I try to keep it different for y'all every day. Hopefully, those are feeding y'all some positivity as well while you're listening to my podcast. But Podcast 7 is now coming to an end. I appreciate y'all so much for listening and tuning into tomorrow's podcast. And again, this is Dramatic Life with Dramatic Key. And I'm out.